Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2, where, through uh, some miracle here, I'm winning my first war. And the miracle is named the Ottomans. Thanks, buddies! They, uh, they were the ones that made this possible, so that's wonderful. And then, let's see here, yeah, I, I set up these arrows before I stopped last time so that I would remember what the exact plan was, and this looks... Pretty much exactly like how I would like it to be. Yeah, this is... This is quite good. Okay, let's uh, just proceed for now. Now we are losing a fair amount of money on a daily basis. Ooh, that was a big spike. Primarily going into military spending, I think? Or just that our middle class are kind of unhappy right now? That might have something to do with it, too. Realistically, I think that that is mostly because we just need to expand. So let's uh, just tick forward for now. Where are these guys going? They will arrive here on 31 December. We will arrive in Kasala on 2 January. Let's see if we can convince them to stop. They're not stopping. Okay. They walked straight into us. And we won. Of course we did. Okay, back to Khartoum, and then you can go to a Accordat. Fantastic. So at this position, or at, at, at this time, really, um, this battle plan isn't particularly useful anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that for now. And we do have this army coming in. 14 February is when they will arrive. I'm assuming we can cut them off. We can get there first. And now they're coming nowhere. I'm okay with this. Now they're going back in. Um, Let's just let them. And then we'll go in here. So they will arrive on 17 February. And we're just going to let them come on in and we'll crush them once they get here. So 17 February. Oh, there's another stack here. They're going to arrive quite a lot later, though. Okay, that stack is there. We should be completely fine fighting this. And let's see here. There's a new patent, Mechanical Saw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not a whole lot of stuff. The price of silk has rose. Risen. Good for silk. Uh, I didn't mean to right-click that. I think we just need to... Uh... Oh, the shortcut key is Enter, not Confirm. Sounds good. And these guys stopped, as well they should. We stack wiped them, I believe. They will arrive in at Barra on 26 March. We will arrive on 8 April, so we might as well head over to Khartoum. How's our war score doing? We are currently at 10% war score. Sounds good. So far, this war is going pretty swimmingly. These guys are planning on heading into Obeid. Okay. I'm pretty sure... I think we're going to be basically DC... Or we're going to be basically occupied here. So, the theory is, these guys will be freed up to deal with these. There is another regiment coming in here. Or brigade, I guess it is in this game. Now we are close to running out of money. What do we want to do about that? I suppose we could cut our education and administration again, but I kind of don't want to. I mean, we could cut it by like one, two, three percent. Something like that. Okay, so we're going to let this siege finish up. We're at 96%. There's no way they occupy this back by the time we have this up. 
So that is the plan. There we go. And in we go. These guys stopped. That's good. Okay, yeah, we've definitely got this under control. Occupation takes a really long time, at least at the beginning of the game. I have to assume there's, like, some tech for that, or better troops, or just having cannon might help. <laughs> uh, who knows? Well, let's head to Fashoda. These guys are heading to Kasala, actually. We're at 61% here. I think that's okay. It's going to take them forever to cap back Kasala anyway, right? So even if it, they cap back at like double speed, which they're already at 3%. I think we're still going to beat them. They're at 7%. They're definitely capping back faster than we're capping. They're at 10%. We're at 74. I think, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, more clergy having issues. Uh, let's just control them through legislative means for right now. Oh, and we are out of money. That will have something to do with it, too. So where is our money currently going? Primarily to military spending. I feel like we can cut our military spending down to, like, 15%. Because, actually, probably down to, like, 10%, because we're just crushing these guys. Okay, they have another brigade on the way in. We're at 85% to their 20%, so we'll be perfectly fine. Even with a second brigade coming in, we should be... Actually, there's a third brigade there as well. That's starting to get a little more sketch. But I want to allow this to win first. There we go. Okay, when are they going to arrive? 11 August. We will arrive on 19 August. We're still going to outnumber them pretty heavily, and we do have this army here that we can pull over if we want. And uh, the pop is too small to reinforce the brigade in Axum. Okay, so that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. But what is our war score currently at? Because we didn't need that high of war score to actually do this. I think we needed 16% war score. So let's see how this battle pans out with our lowered defense spending. We still outnumber them, but, uh, yikes. Oh, they retreated, I think. Wait. Maybe they didn't? We won a battle, but then we lost and got stack wiped. Okay. I'm confused by that, then. Um, like, I, I get why we lost the battle, but why did it say we won at first, and then we lost? Anyway, that's perfectly fine. I think we now should have the war score to... Oh, not quite. Okay, we're going to need to come in and attack these guys again. Their morale is currently low, so we should be able to win this no problem. We have to defend this. 20 September. Yeah, we uh, we got this, no problem. There we go. We did not stack wipe them. Oh, they retreated right where we were going. Isn't that convenient? Plus 0.2 war score. So is that enough war score? Really? Preacher Man again? Okay. Is that enough war score? Ooh, that might be enough. Egypt, do you, uh... Do you want peace? They would not accept... No, they would... Wait. They would accept a white peace. But I believe that's not selected. That is selected. We need 17 war score. So we need one more war score to make this happen. These guys are heading into Atbara. 
Let's cut them off. I don't want to let them group up again, because that was scary. <laughs> so let's cut them off. Uh, 7 November, 9 November. Okay. Twenty-seven November, and we were we are arriving on sixteen November. Okay, so we're good. I do not want them getting additional reinforcements in here. We'll get there eventually. There we go. Egypt is offering us peace right now. What are they offering? They are offering us the following terms: acquire Cordofan. Wait. Where's Cordofan? Is that a is that the region? Yeah, they're offering us Cordofan, which is what we declared for. So I think that's what we want. Another astounding victory for Ethiopia today, as it has now become clear that Kordofan will, as has been expected for some time, be taken up into the Ethiopian patrimony with full rights of national statehood. One question that still remains to settle is, however, the issue of slavery. Slavery can be extended within our country, and the question on the table is whether we wish to extend the institution to Kordofan or not. So, if we make it a free state, all the pops would gain consciousness but pops in some of our locations, our existing locations, would lose conscious- wait, no. All pops in everything would lose 0.5 consciousness. Alternately, they would gain consciousness. Which I guess is a bad thing? Let's look at our pops and see if we can figure that out. Consciousness. So... Doesn't actually say what consciousness is. I'm assuming that consciousness is like when they start a like cultural revolution or something along those lines. So like having high consciousness is bad, I think. So we will go ahead and not extend the slavery because losing consciousness, I think, is a good thing. Maybe? We'll find out. Let's hop into the political map mode, though, and you can see we have ourselves a nice little exclave. Now, these guys are, I believe, black flagged right now. And I'm going to stick them over in our new state, and we're going to pull these guys back to our former territory. Well, not really former territory, but existing territory. Okay, we're on the spoil system over here right now. But uh, we are producing wool, which is a huge, huge deal for us. We're also producing some grain. So that should help us a fair amount. How long is our truce with Egypt? Let's see. Diplomacy. Egypt. Where can we see the truces? Truce with Ethiopia until 18 November 1844. So a five-year truce. Fair enough. So we don't have anyone else we can fight, but we should take a look at the region map mode here. And I definitely think that Eritrea is the next region we want to go for here, just to get ourselves a bit of a border. I mean, I would absolutely love to take all of Sudan and link up with Kordofan. But I feel like getting access to the sea is more important. First Farmer's Bank. It's a public secret that the First Farmer's Bank of Herer is part of the Somali resistance. Opposition to our rule, and to Amhara settlement in the province, is staunch within the institution, and the bank has even gone so far as to bidding out land to prevent it from being bought by non-Somali. There's been talk in local government circles of pushing for a nationalization of the bank, but fear of a fierce reaction has caused them to raise the issue with the national government. How should we react with this? So. All the farmers in Ethiopian Oromia, which is... If we go into the region map mode, Oromia is... Wait, is that a province? Hang on. Is there no find tool? Or is it just not bound? Okay, here it is. So this would be in, what, Oromia. Apparently it doesn't exist. 
Okay. So, oh, Aromia, down here. So, we would pay 10 pounds, or all the farmers would pay 10 pounds. We would gain 300 pounds. They would all gain 8 militancy. So, what are they at right now in Aromia? Do, 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 do. Let's see, this is all just the province, I believe. Can we not see this by the state? Hmm, okay. I guess we can just go to the state over here. And we can look at what their militancy is right now. So they currently have no militancy whatsoever. And it'll drop relatively quickly-ish. We'll remain at peace. The other option is that they would gain three militancy or they would gain two consciousness. I think, given these options, we'll nationalize the bank. We'll get some money and we'll just head some troops into the region. Like so. And, hmm, okay, so if I click too quickly on that, oh, hang on, there we go. Okay, so conservative is still losing power currently. I don't know what that actually does for us, I suppose. Um, conservative are the royal faction, I believe. Yeah. May fight back reforms under conditions of high militancy. Okay. Further political reforms, but will also support social reform under conditions of high militancy. Yeah, that, that all seems fine then. We'll just have to adjust our play based on what our parliament is looking like, right? So, that's not too bad. Okay, so our soldiers are a little bit on the small side in Axum and Antalo. So we'll have to do something about that. We have fielded 9 out of 6 possible brigades that our soldiers can support. Okay, so the... The military cap actually has to do with the number of soldiers. Can we change our national focus to encourage clergymen in, like, this region over here? Or not clergy. To encourage soldiers over here? Yes, we can. Excellent. That's exactly what we're going to do then. And how's our tech points coming along? in terms of civilizing. Uh, I forget where we actually see that. Oh, research points, 34.99 currently. Okay, and then westernizing is in, what tab again? Here it is, okay. So we need, of course, to get some reforms done here. To have that happen, we need a fair number more research points. Okay. Well, we'll get there eventually. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue trying to stabilize our economy a little bit and start preparing for a second war against Egypt for this up over here. Egypt is going to be a little tougher the second time around, so we're going to have to be prepared. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.